first Thursday was started by the Urban Art Network. It's been going on for 20 plus years. This really is the first time since COVID hit that we've actually had people out here like this. It's nice to see people back. Come down, find a parking spot, or take Max, or a bus, or a scoot. You can really basically just wander and you'll find something that you enjoy. For food, I would check out Verde Cucina. Everything that hits your plate that day was brought in that morning by local farmers. Everything is completely gluten-free. That's what the restaurant specializes in. One of the signatures would be the verde enchiladas. We also are known for our bloody mayonnaise. We do the bacon and then the Oaxaca and cheese, which is almost like a Mexican mozzarella. Makes a, a perfect appetizer. We're here to give people a place to explore culture in all its different ways, to explore the artist. There's no pressure to buy something. We have walls in here that you can draw on. We have a build your own bare brick section. We have interactive things for kids. We have little models that are hidden in places. We want to make this uh, an experiential place where people can come in and have a great time. It's a little bit of a museum, but it's a lot of just a, a fun way to spend a day and to learn a lot about artists you already know or that you didn't even know existed and see some things you may have only seen online. We want people to come in here and be curious and interested and challenged. If we're going to be talking about uh, the transnational fleet that went on in Europe during the Second World War, we needed our visitors to really understand what enmity and dehumanization have done in, this, in our state. If you leave here with more questions than you came in with, we actually think we've been successful. We really encourage it as a place to connect with what's on the walls. We have a juried exhibition annually that allows artists from the Pacific Northwest to submit their work. Like people can open the drawers, pick up their work, look at it, examine it, purchase it if they choose to. Cocinar lo que es la birria, so es un proceso que toma alrededor de seis horas a seis horas y media. A little part of my hometown, you know, bringing to share to Portland, share to everybody, you know, that's 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 my goal.